Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Fat Mom. Hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, I will share some ideas and some tips to clean all the corners of your home very effortlessly and very easily. So let's get started with my appliance unit. So in this cabinet, I'm storing all my appliances and to clean any corner of your house is just empty the corner, take out everything and segregate the things which you are not gonna use anymore or which is not working so here i have uh, put my water kettle which is a uh, old one and it's not working so i just declutter that one and after that i will take out all of the things from my cabinet and here you can see this cabinet is new one uh, and this is the mask from of the heavy uh, appliances so to clean that i will use this magic eraser it is very easy to use them and it's really very helpful for me at least we just need to dampen the uh, water and then squeeze the excess water and then clean the surface it is really very easy to clean all the surfaces and this is my magic eraser so after that i will uh, clean it with my uh, multi-purpose cleaner which is homemade i just uh, add three quarts of water and one part of vinegar and a tablespoon of uh, dishwash and uh, our multi-purpose cleaner is ready it can uh, be used on any surfaces anywhere i'm using it around my house everywhere now we will wipe it with the microfiber cloth and our cabinet is ready see you can see the difference before and after as well after wiping it off i will put my shelf liner to the cabinet so it will be easy to clean it again and after that i will uh, wipe all the appliances with the damp microfiber cloth and uh, i'll put it back in the cabinet after arranging everything i will give you a tour of my appliance cabinet here i would like to share my opinion for this appliance uh, this is a kakra maker this is electric kakra maker and it's really very useful so here my cabinet is ready so i have arranged it like this first is my preeti mixture grinder which i usually use for uh, making dosa batter and all that things then i have my air fryer my food chopper my toaster and the can opener and uh, in the bottom shelf i have put two baskets so in the first one it's a sandwich maker along with the sandwich maker i have my master chef hand whisker to uh, which i use in the baking and i have few attachment which i got uh, with the sandwich maker like the waffle trays and the grilling tray so i put all the attachments in the single basket and in the next one i have all my uh, standing mixture like kitchen aid mixtures attachments then uh, my magic bullet attachments everything in this basket so it's very easy to find it whenever i need it so this is my um, blending jar for the mixture and uh, after that i have my juicer or uh, orange juicer so next is, is my crockery unit and on the bottom shelf of the crockery unit i have put few appliances like my instant pot which i use uh, regularly to uh, cook all the beans and everything and my juicer you have seen this juicer in uh, previous vlogs as well it's really very useful and the magic bullet one so after that i will clean a uh, bookshelf for my daughters as i told you before that to clean anything just empty the space so you can get clear idea what you need to put and what you want to keep so i will wipe it with the lysol wipes and after that i will segregate all the books which they are not uh, using or which they are using they love to read so this is the shelf i have created like in the entrance of the room i have the small space here so we put four shelves the shelves are from ikea and from the upper shelves are for janvi as uh, she can reach over there and the bottom shelf is for shania's book the baby books so she can uh, easily reach over there and for books i personally believe that if you keep it uh, in the reach so the kids will love to read it at least they will look at the pictures and they will spend some time with the books which is really very good 
since we entered in the kids room it's very common the messy table and crayons on the table on on the wall i know everyone can relate whoever have toddler or preschoolers at home so here comes my magic eraser to save me it helps me a lot and makes my cleaning very easy and effortless and one more time i will uh, share that this is not a sponsored video this is my personal opinion and i am sharing this my experience that how i'm cleaning this all messy things very easily so yeah now our table is done so i will clean entire table with a magic eraser sponge and then again the disinfectant wipes and it's done so i will arrange it back so here's how i organize it very functional for my daughter so she can use it easily so on the one side i have put their photo frames and on the other side it's her calligraphy kit her ipad and her books for abacus and all the uh, mathematics and all the study books and this is the pen stand it's for her daily use pencils and erasers but it's i'm gonna arrange it later on and this photo frame is gonna go on the wall but actually i'm waiting for the wall cabinet so yeah now again i'm come back in the kitchen and now i will show you how i clean my uh, glass water kettle so it's electric and uh, whoever is using it daily they know that that is a watermarks on the bottom if you use it daily it's a very common thing that uh, you can see this stain on the bottom so now we will clean it very easily so now i will fill this water kettle with the regular tap water and after that i will add a vinegar a white vinegar to it that is a ratio like three part is the water and one part is the vinegar but now i'm using it regularly so i will do it just with the measurement so after that just run it on and let it boil to its maximum point and let it shut down after that just drain this water in the sink and it's done you can see this the stains will remove very easily just the only back point is that there will be some vinegar smell will be remaining in this water kettle so one more time we will fill with the water and just a regular tap water and then boil it and then again just discard this water and the complete smell was removed and your water kettle will completely clean and fresh so yeah it's done so now next we all are using this wooden spatula in our kitchen we will use it and we will clean it with a regular dishwash liquid and we will put it back but is it done cleaning because this wooden will absorb all the oil and some kind of spices so to clean it i will dip it in the deep jar and then we will add hot water the boiling water to it you can see this uh, residues coming out let it cool down for 10 to 15 minutes just give it a rest and after 10 to 15 minutes you can see this water will completely change all the oil and uh, spice particles will be coming in the water and you can see how much oil or spices will absorb in your wooden spatulas so this is very easy trick to clean all the wooden spatulas so now my next step is for this kind of fabric sofa or the carpet or the bed which have a fabric headboard or the footboard so if you have fabric sofa or carpet you can see this kind of uh, stains over a time on the surface or on the fabric so to clean it at home i will take a pan and a microfiber cloth a lid and a dishwashing liquid i am using this tablet in the dishwasher so i will use this tablet if you don't have a dishwasher tablet you can use a regular dishwashing liquid as well and after that i will add some hot water to it and uh, we will use a fork to 
mix this tablet easily with the water very quickly every time to call the sofa cleaning or the carpet cleaning person from the uh, outside it's not affordable and this technique you can use it at home and this is really very easy and uh, effective technique which i am using uh, i guess every month or so so now i have you uh, mix this tablet in the water so what i'm gonna do i'll put the lid on the microfiber cloth and hold it tightly and after that i will dip this lid in this liquid just little bit dip inside and you can uh, squeeze excess water and after that we will rub it on the surface of the sofa or carpet or anywhere on the uh, bed as well and uh, you need to rub it like this you can use this uh, on the bed as well if you have fabric headboard or the footboard but not on the mattress the only thing is that there will be some detergent residues will be remaining on the surface of the fabric so it is not advisable to use it very frequently but yes it will work and it will give you the result so to clean this residues the soap particles from the fabric what we are going to do is we will just uh, repeat the process the whole process with normal regular water sometimes few people or small babies will might get allergy with the soap residues that's why we repeat the process with the normal water so yeah that's it for today's video if you guys find this trips useful then please consider subscribe our channel for more such videos and don't forget to like share and comment thank you so much for watching it